Welcome to another episode of Shogunaut Tour Reviews. Two idiots tonight. Camera toy. This one. So I bought a Mara Jade. And to be clear, this is the six inch one, not the three and three quarter inch one. <laughs> yeah. It's so small. She is very small. So I'm used to, I've gotten used to seven inch figures. Jesus. <laughs> and, and manipulating her, I feel like I need tweezers. She's just very small. Petite. But she's Star Wars 112th. So let's let's go right to why. Right to why. Um, I like some of the Star Wars Expanded Universe stuff. So I read the Timothy Zahn books in the 90s. I will be getting a Luke. And when they announced Mar Jade, I'm like, well, it's probably my only chance for Mar Jade. So you're getting CGI Luke? Yeah. From Mando? Yep, yep. All right. So you like Mara Jade? It's a pretty short story. You, li you like the fact that Luke hooked up with a redhead? I do. Okay. Scroll here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 1992. If I remember correctly, it's uh, the Jaina Solo body. But anyway, she's mostly in a black outfit. A little bit of paint. She's got these uh, mannequin-looking skin tone. Flat. It's a nice-looking face, though. It's somebody. It's going to drive me nuts until I realize who it is. You're going to send me a text later while I'm I editing. I so. Three days after the video goes up. Sure, sure. Oh, man. It's Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> Especially from my angle. I, like, I know that face. I was... So the, the sculpt, I think, is good. Doesn't quite match the box art, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Well, the box art is Terry Dotson, I believe. Anyway. Anyway. She's very petite. She is very small. Um, makes her perfect for the Emperor's Assassin. Right? That's who she is? Yeah. yeah. She's the Emperor's hand. Hand. That's it. Which means... She's an assassin. Yeah. Did she wear a little hand lapel? It's very different from the Game of Thrones hand. But she was okay. programmed to kill Luke Skywalker. She didn't do well. No, she did. She killed his clone. Luke with two U's. Oh, oh for fuck. <laughs> God damn. I must not have read that one. Yeah, no, you did. That, that was... Uh, that was, was it? Zon. I'm pretty sure that was one of the Zahn trilogies. I don't. I, li I re-listened to the audiobooks a couple of years ago. Well, maybe it was ten years ago at this point, but I don't remember. Well, it was an audiobook, so I wouldn't have seen two U's. Anyway, <laughs> anything special about her articulation? I've nope. been too scared to move her around too much. I feel like I'm going to break the elbows. Um, I think it is standard. It is totally standard. It has for articulation. I will point out that she has some of the smallest feet we've ever seen, but can stand. Yeah, they're pretty small. Not at all in proportion with the rest of her body. They're, well, no. No, they're really not. I was going to make a comment about Marvel Legends feet, but yeah, those are small. But, and then the hair gets in the way a bit. The goggles do not move. Those, oh. are, those are glued in there. Is that why Ray had goggles? Because it was a tribute to Marjorie. I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't you? So, um, did she come with anything besides her uh, gun and belt and lightsaber? No. She comes with a gun. A version of Han Solo's blaster. Mm-hmm. There's a tiny bit of paint on there, but it goes in the holster. Can she hold it? Probably. Probably. She has two trigger hands. Well, she's got one trigger hand and a holding hand. So on the other hip, she's got a lightsaber. It looks like a lightsaber. Yep. We're going to say it looks like her lightsaber since they're all different. She has a purple. Yeah. God damn it. And of course, has the insertable actual lightsaber. 
I always did like that. Although I believe it was uh, Bobby Skullface who one time said that he wanted a clear plastic or white with an insert up the middle. Yeah. Let's see if that would work better. She can hold it. Apparently Ooh. lefty. So there she is with a couple of other Star Wars characters. And again, she is short. But she's supposed to be shorter than Mace Windu, I would guess. And here is what I'm talking about, skin tone. So this is definitely... It's comic inspired with a Carrie Fisher head, which I find weird. But it's human-ish skin tone and this I still think is mannequin yeah. doesn't look right they don't look good next to each other one looks like a toy more than it should next to the other one yeah and this is Bebop 317 it's the hero of the reliance final thoughts she is going to be the only and best version of Mark Jade that you can get right now if you hadn't pointed out that it was a reused body, I would never notice that it wasn't right because that's close enough to what Mara Jade looks like. Um, I will give her a 3.5 because her elbow, inside elbows don't match for the first time ever. Her feet are too small, and I hate the fact that she has a purple lightsaber and I'm holding that against the toy. Wow. Because the first purple lightsaber was... Mace. Mace. Oh, and this box. Fucking most... The box that opens to another cover. Fucking most egregious stuff. Oh, my God. And if you're a mint in box collector, you can damage the box because they got rid of the Velcro. Yeah, it's this flap that I had trouble opening. Once Emperor Palpatine... All we had to do was read the flap. <laughs> This is why we're two idiots. Magenta. What? Get the fuck out of here, Wikipedia. Mara Jade's first lightsaber. Magenta. Fuck, really? I like it, but I'm also scared to move it. And she's probably going to get posed and then probably never touched again until I need to dust. But um, I'll go three and a half hammers. And I think it's just because it's uh, probably the only Mara Jade I'm ever going to get. Okay. Well, they made a vintage collection one. <laughs> okay. I can barely tolerate this six inch. Six inch. <laughs> <laughs> You're cowboys. I don't even want to touch. What about a Hot Toys Mara Jade? I don't like her that much. It's more money than I want to spend. On a Mara Jade? Yeah. Okay. It's fair. Mara Jade, everybody. Apparently she had a magenta lightsaber before fucking... Canonically. Magenta. She, right? She that had to come out before <laughs> the prequels. She's like in the 90s, right? I was reading the first trilogy in the 90s, mid-90s, because I was... We were going on a fishing trip to Canada. I should finish this video. Well, that's been it for this episode. <laughs> Before I go off on a fishing story. Um, like, subscribe, comment if you have any Star Wars comments. We'll take them. We'll take you on. Yeah. What he said. <laughs>